In this tutorial, we'll take a look at how to record a time lapse in Rebel. This can be found in the window menu. In this panel, there are two buttons. The first will start and stop the recording. Before you record, be sure to set up your record settings. This will control the speed, size, and quality of your video. Capture interval will control the speed. A smaller value will record more frames or more brush strokes, making the video longer and more detailed. A larger value will record fewer frames, making the video shorter, but may miss some steps. When choosing a value, keep in mind the frame rate, which is set to 30 by default, but can be higher. 60 frames per second will give you smoother movement, but will also make the video duration shorter and the file size larger. Multiply the capture interval by the number of frames per second, and that will give you the duration of your video. So for example, if I paint for 90 seconds at one frame per second, I will have generated 90 frames. At a frame rate of 30 frames per second, that would only be three seconds of video. Next, choose the destination where you want the video to be exported. There is a shortcut to open this folder. Under codec, choose either option. H.264 is going to be the most compatible with other applications, but H.265 yields a smaller file without sacrificing quality. The quality setting controls how much compression is added to the video. Compression can make the file size smaller, but at the expense of discarding detail. You'll have to experiment to see what works best for you. And finally, resolution controls the video dimensions. You'll want to match this to your display size, but you can also choose a smaller size if you want a smaller video. For example, if I only require a 1080p video, I can choose that to save storage space. It's important to note that only the canvas will be captured, not the UI or cursor. If you want to capture that stuff, you'll need something like OBS Studio, which is free. You can see at the bottom of this panel what the canvas size is and what the output video dimensions will be. If you will be primarily recording your screen for posting to YouTube, you may want to start with a canvas size that matches the video dimensions so there isn't any black space added to the edges when you export the video.